Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sports book. I am your host Tom Downey, here with our latest installment of fan rumors on the show. Let's start things off with Joker asking, or I should say saying, should we be concerned Dak is changing play calls? Yes, but also not really, so I'll put it at two stars and I'll explain why. So. You actually do want your quarterback to be able to audible to better plays. It shows a command of the offense, shows you community defense, and you get your players into a better position if the defense put up something that you weren't expecting. The bad news is, and this is what you're really asking, I think, is that the offense almost seems to need audibles to work right, i.e. that touchdown pass from Dak to Amari when Amari was a which, we'll, which we'll talk more about on this edition of the show. So, yes and no. You want your quarterback to audible, but you also don't want him to have to audible for the offense to get themselves into the best position consistently. So that's why it's two stars there. Now, folks, if you want to be involved on the show, go subscribe to our Cowboys Report YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. All of the fan rumors from today's show are from that channel in the community tab. So go subscribe, youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. All right, next up, Chop Chop says, Amari Cooper said, what? I'm not worth a first-rounder, Tom Downey. Well, guess what? I'm going to put up a 10 uh, 2 17 3 TD stat line. So first off, I'll give you a break for misspelling my name wrong. But yes, I was too low on the Amari Cooper trade. Four stars on that one. Cooper has been incredible on the Cowboys. As I said at the time, my fears were about the Cowboys offense still struggling and it end up being a top 10 pick or top 15 pick, which I really thought we were going to get after the Titans game. Guess what? That's no longer a concern. I was wrong on that one. All right, next up from Zach is cool two four three. Is Amari Cooper a pro bowler, or could he make the Pro Bowl? I'm gonna give it three stars or four stars. I think he absolutely has to. Now, maybe he doesn't do it, but in terms of could he? Yes, he absolutely could make the Pro Bowl. Four stars right there. All right, Cooper has been worthy of a Pro Bowl spot with the Dallas Cowboys. Now, look. We know it's a popularity contest. We know that. We know Odell Beckham is going to get a lot of votes. We know Julio Jones is going to get all the votes. Guess what? Odell's hurt. Now he might not make it anyway. So he could always be an, an alternate player as well for the Pro Bowl. But look at what he's done since joining the Cowboys. 40 for 642 and six touchdowns. That's the best streak since a post-trade ever. That's impressive for Amari Cooper. Now as for Amari, as he replaces Des Bryant, who is and was the better Cowboys? If we posted this on our Cowboys Report YouTube channel as a poll, so type D for Dez, type A for Amari. As of like right this second, well, Amari's a better player right now than Dez Bryant, even without the injury to Dez. In terms of overall Cowboys career, it's probably still Dez, just because Amari's been here for only a handful of games. But when it's all said and done, I kind of think it's going to end up being Amari Cooper. All right, next up. Amari may get Linehan fired for after his comments against the Eagles. So I'll give this one star because I don't think it's going to be Cooper that gets Amari fired. Now, Cooper didn't mean to, but he did critique and criticize Scott Linehan. That is what happened there because Cooper said he was tired of the stop routes. Now, Linehan might end up getting fired. That would not be a huge surprise to me. In fact, I, frankly, I think that'd be a little bit more I'm okay with it. And I would be okay with it, which we can do in a minute. But if Linehan does get fired, even though Cooper was right, it's not going to be because of Amari Cooper's comments, if that makes sense. All right, next up from Taylor Phoenix says, even if we make the playoffs or we'll play the Super Bowl, we should fire Linehan and keep, even if we keep Garrett. Four stars on this one. Linehan has got to go. He is holding this team back. His offensive scheme is not good enough and not the right one for this Cowboys offense. The red zone has been a disaster. Here are your worst red zone scoring offenses in the NFL. The Cowboys, and this is touchdowns here, 46%, 30th in the NFL. And in goal to go when you just need 10 yards or less, the Cowboys are converting less than 50%, the only team in the NFL to do that. That is on Linehan. That is not good play calling. And look, the, the ground game might not be the world's most efficient thing, per se, but just give the damn ball to Zeke. It's not that hard. You get the ball at the seven-yard line, run it three times, you're going to get three yards of carry, and you will score. So do you want the hand fired? Type KS for Keith Scott. Type FS for Fire Scott. For me, it's a no-brainer. Linehan has got to go. All right, folks, I am playing Santa Tom this holiday season, and I've got some Cowboys jerseys for you if you get signed up and deposit with our partner, BetDSI. 
Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code COWBOYS120 and then DM us on Twitter at chatsports. We'll get you guys signed up. With that promo code A, you get a 120% deposit bonus. What that means is you put down 50 bucks. They're going to give you 60 bucks for free to bet with on BetDSI. And once you DM us on Twitter at chatsports, we'll get you guys a Cowboys. We've got some Zeke jerseys, some Dak Prescott jerseys, and a couple of Jalen Smith ones still in in the supply, but the inventory is going quickly, so you better get in on this deal now. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code Cowboys120, and then DM us on Twitter at Chatsports. All right, from Chris uh, Paul, or is it just Paul? I think it's Paul. Anyway, he says Dak needs to look for other receivers, and no, he doesn't. This is fake news. I'm sorry, Chris. Dak is doing a very good job right now. Amari Cooper getting about just under nine targets per game. He's been very efficient with those targets, but nine targets a game is very much in line with most NFL number one wide receivers. So from that perspective, why would you take away targets from an efficient star right now? I don't think that makes much sense. Now, Zeke's had a bunch. That's got into it. I'm down to get Cole Beasley more involved, but the answer is not to have Dak Prescott look less than Amari Cooper. It's working. Don't try and fix something that isn't broken. All right, from Space Cowboy asking, would it be a good move to cut Beasley and Hearns? Well, we'll start with Cole Beasley because you can't cut him. He's going to be a free agent. So I'll give this one two stars because it's yes and no, to, or no and yes to each player there. I actually would prefer to bring back Cole Beasley. If you can, money will be a factor on that one. But you save $5 million next season by cutting Alan Hearns. Just do it. Save the extra money. Say, Alan, thank you very much. We're going to go use that $5 million and give it to Demarcus Lawrence or whomever. So from that perspective, folks, and I'll ask you, for the Cowboys cut Hearns, I was actually a little bit surprised the last time we discussed this about the, by the amount of people that wanted to keep Alan Hearns. But for me, it's still a no-brainer. It's a yes. He's not making an impact. $5 million is a lot to say. If, if he was on his first-year deal, sure, keep him. But right now, I think he's got to go after the season ends. All right, Rob Iyer saying, the Cowboys will go to the Super Bowl and Dak will get his ring. I like the idea. I'm only going to give it the one star because I don't think it's the most likely outcome. But I am saying it's possible. All right? No fake news here. At least the one star there. It can come true. The Cowboys have proven they can beat any team. With that said, winning a Super Bowl is very, very tough. Dallas does have flaws. If they don't figure out that red zone offense by the playoffs, they are not going to win a Super Bowl. So it's very possible here. I am saying there is a real chance, but the Cowboys are not the favorites right now. That's the Saints and the Rams. Even the Bears right now have better betting odds on BetDSI to win Super Bowl 53. The Cowboys there plus 1,800. Much better than what they were, you know, after the Titans game. But it's not the most likely outcome as we sit right now in week 15 of the NFL season. Now we mentioned BetDSI. Well, they're helping me play Santa Tom this holiday season. Do you guys want some Cowboys shoes or some Cowboys jerseys? Chatsports.com slash bet. Sign up and deposit with BetDSI. Promo code COWBOYS120A gets you a 120% deposit bonus. What that means is you put down 50, they're going to give you an extra $60 to bet with. I put that down, I got 110 right now extra from BetDSI. And DM us on Twitter, at Chatsports. We'll get you guys hooked up with those awesome-looking Cowboys shoes or a Cowboys jersey. So, again, chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code COWBOYS120 gets you signed up, deposited, and 120% deposit bonus. Then DM us on Twitter, at chatsports, and we'll let you guys, and we'll get you guys hooked up with the gear you want, be it the shoes or the jersey. All right, next up from uh, about a DD. Uh, I hope I said that right. I'm really not sure. I apologize if I didn't. Cowboys should not let players rest like they did in week 17 of 2016. Got to keep the rhythm going. I'll give this two stars. This is the rest versus freshness debate, or the, the, the rest versus rust debate, excuse me, is very much a damned if you do, damned if you don't scenario. If you play the guys and someone gets hurt, oh, God, that's a disaster. If, they, if you have them rest out a week, give them a little bit easier week, and they start a little slow and there's some rust, that's not good either. So let me know in the comment section, do you want the Cowboys to rest their starters? Type 1 for yes, type 2 for no. I am of the mindset, until you clinch, until you are locked into your spot, keep playing to win. Now, if we get that scenario in week 16, week 17, 
Maybe the Cowboys do rest them in Week 17. At the very least, you can give guys like Zeke some less, some less work. Which brings us to Mike Wilton's fan rumor. says, should we cut back on Zeke's touches so he's fresh for the playoffs? I think this is a four-star one for me. And I say that despite owning Zeke Elliott on my Dynasty fantasy team currently competing for a championship. Because maybe it's not this week. But it is a good idea because Zeke has had 130 touches in the last four games. That is a massive workload. Once you secure a playoff spot, let's cut that down. Let's cut that down to, you know, maybe 20 at most per game. And I mean at most. He has been fantastic for the Cowboys all year long. But I do want to keep Zeke as healthy and fresh as possible. The good news is I'm really not that concerned. Zeke is a workhorse. Even if he's kind of banged up, he is going to be okay. All right, folks, if you're looking for something to add to your Christmas list, how about a Mizzen and Main shirt? It's the best damn dress shirt out there. Comfortable.af in sight, and that URL does indeed check out. You are not going to find a more comfortable dress shirt or any shirt than a Mizzen and Main one. All right, next up, our last Cowboys fan rumor for the day. Should we give Tyron Smith minimal plays until he's fully healed for better production in the playoffs? I'm actually going to lean towards three stars on this one, and I'm very much almost two and a half, three stars in that range because you do want to give Smith some reps, which I think is where the minimal production comes in. That's why it went with three instead of two. And Smith was not as good as he's used to being against the Eagles last week. Three penalties were bad and a hurry that he allowed. And you do need him as close to possible for the playoffs. But here's the thing. If you sit Tyron Smith, don't you also want to sit Dak Prescott? Don't you want to avoid Prescott getting hurt because Cam Fleming has not been that great? He's a little better than he was in the preseason. I think if you do decide to arrest Tyron Smith, it needs to come with the, we're going to sit Zach Martin too. Because then, okay, well then you got to sit Dak Prescott. You probably sit Zeke. You probably sit Amari Cooper. So I am down to be cautious with Tyron Smith. But if you do sit Tyron, I think it ends up being a situation where you sit most of the other key players on this Cowboys roster. Hey Cowboys fans, thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.